uh, I will continue with solving trigonometric equations and also I will start with the graph of sine, cosine and tangent. So this part, um, I think the basic part of the graph you already learned in maths, but there are changes in the graph of sine, cosine and tangent that is a new one for you. All right, the trigonometric equation to solve trigonometric equation, there's only one more part that I think I should um, teach you all. Who just joined in? Can, uh, can you just alert me? Someone just joined in the class. Who just joined in? Is it Sukhoi or Dashana or Tayang? Not sure. Or from. Okay, thank you, Sean. Okay, this take note of this type of question for trigonometric equations, right? Okay, you are given with sine theta, negative 3 over 5, and the theta is between 90 to 270. The question is, sketch the reference angle of theta, and then, without using calculator, find the values of each of the following. Cos theta, tangent theta, cosecant theta, and cotangent theta. This type come out in SPM, even though it might come out. So you must have the idea how to answer this type of questions. All right, first of all, they ask you to sketch. Even though they don't ask you to sketch, please sketch the reference angle so they're easy for you to answer the next question. Okay. From the question, sine theta is negative 3 over 5. Okay, sine negative 3 over 5 is only at third and fourth quadrant, right? And given already, the theta is between 90 to 270, meaning that it's between second and third quadrant. So sine negative is third and fourth. So definitely, this angle should be at the third quadrant. Understand? How did I get that? Sine negative is third and fourth, but theta is between this 90 to 70, so you can only take the theta at the third quadrant. Okay, how to sketch? You remember this triangle? This is the reference angle for each quadrant. The green one is quadrant one, red quadrant two, the yellow quadrant three, and the blue one is quadrant four. So this one is the third quadrant. So you have to sketch the one like the yellow color one. So I will sketch it together with the length. Okay, now it should be something like that, correct? So sine theta negative three over five. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So three over five. Why is it negative three? Because the point is here. So the coordinates here is negative. And using Pythagoras theorem, you know this is 4, 3, 4, 5, Pythagoras theorem. So this is also a negative value, okay? Right? No problem with the uh, sketching, the angle. Is it okay? All right, I proceed, yeah? So once you sketch, you have all the sides here, 3, 4, and 5. Actually, you can get all the sine, cosine, and also tangent. So first, they ask you for cosine. So cos theta. Cos at third quadrant is a negative. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so 4 over 5. So negative 4 over 5 because at third quadrant, cos is negative. Okay, tangent. Tangent at third quadrant is positive. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So 3 over 4, right? And cosecant. What is cosecant? Is one over sine. So sine is already given in the question negative three over five. One over negative three over five. You inverse it, become negative five over three. Okay. Then the last one. They ask for cotangent. Since you already have the tangent just now. 3 over 4. Cotangent is the other way around. So 4 over 3. 
Okay, is there any question on this type of question? Is it okay, class? Okay, I just give time for you to copy. Uh, I just want to check attendance again. Okay. So, Hui, are you here? Please respond. Uh, teacher. Yes. So, for this uh, sketching the reference angle, right? how do you get uh, the 3, 4, and 5? Okay. Remember the question already give you sine theta is 3 over 5 here. Okay. So, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So, I know the opposite is 3. It's 5. So, using Pythagoras theorem, and you know that adjacent is 4. Is it clear, Satish? Yes. All right. Okay. Who just came in? I know this just now, Dashana. Um, Fang Chi Wei, are you here? And Teyam, are you here? Um, hi, Bill Gates. On the Asia and Kai word. Any other? Tiantong, are you here? Please respond. Teacher, they are here. Uh, is here. Who else is here? Okay, so they are on. They are all right. Okay. She will also hear. Okay. Okay, I have two attendants for bells. Pascal uh, Sukhoi is not here. Okay, now number two. Theta is an obtuse angle such that tangent theta is negative 15 over 8. Without using calculator, find the value of the following. Cosecant theta, cotangent theta, secant theta, and sine theta. All right. Now, what is obtuse angle class? Can anyone respond? What is obtuse angle? You have to know. Anyone? What is obtuse angle? Obtuse angle. Sean, what is? Can you all hear me? Can can. Ah, okay. What is obtuse angle? Hmm. Forty-five Forgot. to ninety. No. Uh. More than hundred eighty. Is it obtuse? Ah. Ninety to hundred eighty. Yeah. Yes, ninety to hundred eighty. Obtuse obtuse angle is ninety to hundred eighty. You must remember, yeah, this one. Okay. Now. Obtuse angle between 90 to 180. So you know it's already at second quadrant and tangent is negative. Definitely it's at second quadrant. So sketch the reference angle first. Okay. Why don't you try to sketch whether you get it correct like what I sketch. It should be at the second quadrant because obtuse angle and tangent is negative. So Tangent is 15 over 8 there. So remember, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, sketch the diagram. Okay. Right, this is my diagram. Okay, that should be your reference angle. That should be the second quadrant. Tangent, 15 over 8. All right opposite over adjacent. So from this one is a Pythagoras theorem, theorem again. So I know what is my hypotenuse. It is 17. Okay, understand? All right, now from this triangle, I think you have no problem to find what is cosecant. 
Okay, cosecant is 1 over sine. Can someone just write down what is your answer for cosecant theta? Just scribble on the screen. And 1. Okay, tak ada respon ni. Still copying ke? Cosecant is 17 over 15. Okay. Alright, cosecant is 1 over sine. Sine second quadrant is positive. Okay, let's check the answer. Yes, correct. Good. Very good. Okay, cotangent. Okay, they already give you the tangent. So, cotangent is just inverse of the tangent theta. So, I think this one is very easy. This negative 8 over 15. Okay, secant. 1 over cos theta. Can someone give me the answer. Just scribble on the screen. Secant theta. 1 negative 17 over 8. Secant is 1 over cos. Cos is negative. Okay. The second quadrant. Cos is negative. Okay. Negative 17 over 8. Let's check. Yes. Correct. Very good. Negative 17 over 8. Because secant is 1 over cos, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and then you inverse it. Alright, and last one, sine theta is 15 over 17. Okay. Any question on this type of question? Okay, I will not give you any more on this. Is there any question? Is it okay? Okay, I give you time to copy. If you have any question, just uh, okay. All right. Okay, please get ready for the next subtopic for this chapter, which is the graph of sine, cosine, and tangent. Can I just move on, class? Yes or no? Teacher, wait for a while, teacher. All right, okay. If you are ready, please let me know so that I can proceed to the next one. Is that a smiley face? Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. Right, now. Okay. I think you have learned the graph of sine in maths. Right, so basically the first part is just a revision for you. This is how graph of sine. Still remember this? Right, if I have y equals to sine x, so this is how my graph. Usually, we will ask you to sketch from 0 to 360 or 0 to 2 pi. Okay, in this question, they, ask, uh, they are using pi. So 0 to 2 pi or for the negative angle, 0 to negative 2 pi. Okay. What are the characteristic of graph, graph of sine? Every cycle has a period of 2 pi. Meaning that this one cycle here is always 2 pi. Okay, one cycle is 2 pi. Okay, then maximum value is 1. It's always 1 and the minimum value is negative 1. Alright. Okay, then... The amplitude is 1. This one. Amplitude here is 1. So, because of the maximum value is 1, so the amplitude here is 1. I think if you learn physics, also you learn this one. Cut the x-axis at 0, pi, 
and two pi or zero hundred eighty and three sixty. This is when your sine is sine x is zero. So zero pi and two pi. And the y intercept is zero, meaning that you start the graph at zero, going up, going down, and stop back at zero. Right? Still remember this graph of sine? You need time to copy. Okay, I give you one minute to copy. Or you just uh, take note of this. Okay. Is it done? If yes, just let me know. Okay. Uh Okay, now. Okay, I proceed to the next graph. Graph of cosine. Okay, right. Okay. This is graph of cosine. Okay, this is cos theta. Okay. You remember this one? You have learned this one in maths. If you ask to sketch from 0 to 2 pi, this will be your graph. Okay, now the characteristic is almost the same like sine. Every cycle has a period of 2 pi. So one cycle here is 2 pi. Okay. Then it's also the same maximum value is 1, minimum value is negative 1. Amplitude is also 1 here. This one is also 1. Cut the x axis at half pi. 90 degree and 270. Okay, this one cos x is 0 is 90 degree and 270 or half pi and 3 over 2 pi. And the y intercept is 1, meaning that start at 1, going down and going up again. Alright, this is graph of cosine. Okay. Time to copy. Okay. Okay. Next. Can I proceed? Okay. Right. Graph of tangent. Okay, this one is a bit different from the two graph. Okay. Okay, this is graph of tangent. Okay, this is zero, half pi, pi, three over two pi, two pi. Okay, look at the graph here. There's a dotted line here. Okay, what are the characteristics of tangent? Every cycle has a period of pi. So, one cycle is from here to here. Okay, you see? They have the same cycle for every pi. So this one and this one is one cycle. Continue. This one and this one in one cycle. So in two pi, 
you have two cycle actually. See, one cycle here, another one cycle here. Okay. So if two pi, you have two cycle. For one pi, you have one cycle here. All right. Then there is no maximum and minimum value. If you look at the graph, this curve will go up until there's no limit. And this one also will go down until there's no limit. Okay, that's why there's no maximum and minimum value. It is undefined at half pi, 3 over 2 pi, and you plus another 270, uh, another 180, 180, 180. So it's undefined at this dotted line. Can you see this vertical dotted line here? So the value of tangent is undefined. So at 90 and 270 and so on. And these vertical lines are called asymptotes of the graph. So for you to sketch, you draw the asymptotes first and then you can just sketch the tangent graph. All right. Cut the x-axis at 0, pi and 2 pi. Okay. And the y-intersect is also 0 here. Okay. Any question on the graph of tangent? Okay. Okay, I give you one minute to copy and understand the graph of tangent. It's very seldom come out in SPM, but it might come out five years once, three, four, five years once. Okay. Okay, any question? No. Okay. Okay, for admats, they won't ask you to draw or to sketch the basic graph of sine cosine of the or tangent. They will make changes on the graph. All right. Can I just move on on the changes? Okay, this part is very important. Okay, the first one. Okay, the changes on the graph of trigonometric functions. Okay, basically, there are five changes. The first one. If you have y equals to 3 sine x, okay, the changes is they put 3 in front of the function. Okay, y equals to 3 sine x. Okay, if there is a number in front that times with your function, that will change the amplitude. Meaning that the minimum and the maximum value will change. Instead of 1 and negative 1, instead of 1, the amplitude, the amplitude become 3. So the new graph will be something like this. Okay, same sign, but the amplitude change. So the maximum and minimum value change to 3 and negative 3. Okay, you just assume that they ask you to sketch between 0 to 2 pi or 0 to 360. Okay, so remember if there is a number in front, Please change the amplitude. Change the maximum and minimum. Okay. Is it okay for you? Any question? All right. Okay. Done. 
can I just move on to the second changes? Okay, next. Okay, if you had y equals to sine 2x, now the changes is in inside here at the angle. Instead of sine x, now we have sine 2x. It can be for cos and tangent also, yeah. I'm using example only for this. Sine 2x, the changes is inside here. 2. That will change the cycle and the period. Usually, for sine, you only have one cycle for 2 pi. But 2x here, you should have two cycle for 2 pi. Okay? So this one will change the cycle. If 3, then you should, you should have 3 cycle. If half, you only have the cycle. So 2x. Okay, see the cycle. Instead of having one cycle in 2 pi, you already have two cycle. Like you are pulling the rope become closer. The maximum and the minimum remain as 1 and negative 1. But the number of cycle, you add one more. So the gap between the curve is nearer. Okay. So we cut at zero, half pi, pi, three over two pi and two pi. Okay, any question? So far okay. Okay. Give you a few seconds to copy. So there are two changes now. First, the number in front and the number inside. Okay. Next. All right y equals to modulus cos x. Okay, modulus cos x. Modulus here, you put modulus. Now I'm using cos as my example. There's no sign, okay. Modulus, you still remember modulus? We have learned this one in chapter 1 from 4 where all answers must be positive. There is no negative values for y. Okay, all must be positive. Okay, so if you have modulus, okay, this should be the graph. Okay, the one that dotted here is actually the original value of uh, original graph for cos. Because of the modulus, I have to do reflection, reflect. So here, there's no negative value for y, reflect it. And then this will be graph of y equals to modulus cos x. Okay. So this dotted line actually you need for you to draw. I just show this one for you to draw. How did I get that? Okay, any question? I just do this reflection on the x-axis. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Okay, uh, next one. Can I proceed? Sure, wait, wait, wait. Okay.
Okay, okay. Okay, uh, some question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sean. Sean 5 Pascal. I know, but wait, I'm just telling you the changes one by one first. Okay, I haven't finished. There's some more. All right, Sean. Okay. All right, next one. Y equals to cos x plus 1. There's plus here, or you can be minus also of any number. Plus 3, minus 2, can be anything. So if you have plus or minus, then you have to move up or uh, move down. Move up if it is positive, shift it up, and minus shift it down. So depending on the value, shift the graph, the unit up or unit down, depending on the question. Okay. The positive meaning that you go up, the negative meaning that you go down. Okay, let's say cos x plus 1. So the original graph is the one that dotted. Okay, that is original cos x. And I have plus 1. I have to shift one unit up. So instead of one here, so one plus one is two. The minimum value is negative one actually. Negative one plus one is zero. So the whole graph shifted one unit up. Okay, so if minus, you go down, right? Okay, any question on this? Okay, if let's say the plus is in front, let's say 1 plus cos x is still the same thing, yeah? 3 plus cos x is also still the same thing. Okay, any question? No? Okay, I give you that. This one is the, the this one. So it's the plus one. Okay. All right, we stop here just now. If you have cos x plus one. All right. Last one here. What is it two? Which one are you change? Okay, just no graph. Which one? Which one? Which graph? Is it for this one? This one. Cos x plus one. Oh, cos x plus one. Oh, okay, this one. Okay, why is it two? Uh, you mean um, for the maximum graph, right? Ah, this one. For the maximum value, is it? Why is it become 2? Okay. Uh, remember the original. The original here is should be 1, right? Remember? The maximum value is 1. The minimum value is negative 1. So when you plus 1, the 1 here become 2. And the negative 1 here becomes 0. Understand? Okay. All right. Okay. Any more question? Okay, no more. Right. The last changes. If you have y equals to negative sine x, okay, there is a negative in front here. Okay, this is not a minus here, it's a negative here in that negative times with the sine x. Okay. So, if you have a negative in front of your function, you have to inverse the original shape. Okay, so if I have signed the original one from zero, go up, go down, 
So I have to inverse the shape. So I have to go down first, go up, then go down again. Okay. Any question on this? So please remember there are five changes. Okay. If you have a negative here, inverse the shape of the original graph. Okay. Okay, can I just recap all the five changes back? Okay. Right. Okay, let's start with um, this. Okay, this one. If I have three in front or number in front, here you will change the amplitude, minimum and the maximum value will change. So if you have number inside which is with the angle that will be the number of cycle so instead of having one cycle now you should have two cycle so if half is only half cycle a modulus meaning that all positive reflect do a reflection all the negative side here will be positive and plus or minus here that will shift the graph up and down. Okay. Positive will go up, negative will go down. Right. And if there's a negative sine x, negative cos x, negative tangent x, that will inverse the shape. So for sine, rather than go up and go down, that is go down first and go up. Okay. Any question? No? Okay, class. Okay. What about domain? The domain, they will give in the question. If, let's say, they ask you to do until pi, so only sketch until pi. If they ask you to sketch until 2 pi, sketch until 2 pi. Is it okay, Sean? Okay. Right, any other question? Okay, now, I want you to try with all the five changes that I give you. The question will not give you only one change. At least two can be until three or all the changes at one question. In one question, you can have more than one changes, okay? So, this one, I know I haven't shown you anything yet about more than one change, but I want you to try. Okay. This. The domain is between 0 to 2 pi. Okay. So sketch between this one only, from 0 to 2 pi. Okay. Only these two questions, I just want you to try with the knowledge of the five changes that I just taught you just now. Okay, the first one, 2 cos 2x, there are two changes, number in front and the cycle, and modulus of sine 2x. Okay, modulus of sine 2x. Okay, only these two first. Then the next class, I will give you the same uh, example of questions. Okay, I think our next class is next week. Friday is holiday. Is there any question? Yes. Okay. Just try with that two question. I will discuss this question next lesson. And please show me your sketching. Sketching, don't use graph paper, yeah? Just sketch and I just want you to show me what set me. The domain is 0 to 2 pi. Okay, that's all class. Okay. Before I stop, is there any question you want to ask me?